Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Guys, on this upload, I'm gonna show you guys how to rebuild fuel injectors. People have DM'd me on Instagram about this, and I was like, you know what? Let's do it. So, the car that we're gonna be using as our demo car for this particular video is a 2002 Audi S6 that I've had around the shop here for a little bit. We've done a lot of different DIYs and we have kind of like a rebuild vlog that's gone on about it. If, if you found this video because the AI populated it due to something or you ended up, you know, watching the rebuild vlog on the S6, you're the most awesome person around because you know what? you care and you're trying to work on your own shit boxes or you find these entertaining in which case i am doing something right i guess yeah we'll leave it at that anyway s6 things so we've been rebuilding this thing for a while now we all new seals in the top end and both cylinder heads resealed the top half the block replaced a whole bunch of little bits that are back here and we cleaned the intake manifold we used our valve spar uh rebuilders cast on it that's this stuff right here freaking amazing but now kind of comes the time where we need to rebuild the fuel injector and like i said earlier people have asked me about this and like how do you do it so i figured now's a great time to go ahead and do a quick diy on it everything you're going to need for this diy is linked down below in the description including an amazon affiliate listing that i have down below for the kit we're going to use in today's video along with this little cool tool which does come with this ironically so i'll wait till the end of the video to ask you but if you find value in this video so far go ahead and smash that like button and if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content like this or you're liking this type of content consider subscribing all we do every day is diys and race car shit for those of you who may not be like super car literate and whatnot or gearhead oriented you know your gear spin the wrong way this is the fuel injector. The fuel injectors are located under the fuel rail, something like that. In this case, there's four on this side, four on this side. If you want another example, fuel injector. There's one right there, one right there, one right there, and some over there. Now, on my particular car, they're green. They're called Green Giants, AKA 42 pound injectors. So why all this talk about fuel injectors, you might ask? Well, in this video, I already kind of spilled the beans that we're gonna rebuild it. So before we get too far into this, we should probably know a thing or two about our injectors if you don't already. Um, so let's get simplified real quick, okay? This is, we'll just say, every style injector in the world, right? So on the top here, you have a O-ring. On the bottom, you have an o-ring and what's called a pental cap now down inside of this top inside of there you have a filter now the micron level on this is so small that i don't even know how small it is it's probably in the hundreds of millions now this filter is the last filter in the system you might not think that your fuel injectors have these but every port injected style fuel injector has this little baby screen now here's the deal about this screen it's easily clogged so if you have really really dirty fuel that you've pushed all the way through your fuel lines these can easily get clogged up or 100,000 miles 200,000 miles of consistent use and never being replaced can also really really clog up these fine metal screens up so here now a micron is like itty 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 bitty like finer than a needle head right I mean, for the most part, that's the only components of a fuel injector that you guys are gonna ever have to worry about. Uh, there are some specialty bits inside of it, like there are some little needle valves that are deep down inside there. If you guys can see those, there's five holes on the bottom of that. And inside of there is this little bitty tiny needle valve that pneumatically is pushed up and down by electricity and fuel pressure, right? Every time that it needle goes up and down, a little tiny bit of fuel gets sprayed out of that little pattern there. And that's what creates the mist or the uh, injection of inside of our intake runners of our cylinder heads or if it's really high up in the freaking intake, maybe in your intake manifold run or some. But, so my point here is, so I guess my point kind of leads me into like the next part, next question. When should you rebuild them? Rebuilding them has two terms, in my opinion. Rebuilding them can include to one degree, can be what we're gonna show what I'm gonna show you how to do today 
Rebuilding can also involve Sonic Cleaned and Balance. Now there's several companies out there that can do this. I offer it as a service, which you can jump over on RowdyHowdy.com and if you want, pick it up, mail me your fuel injectors and I will come happily Sonic Clean them, flow test them so, they're right, so that they'll be ready to go 100% when you get them back. That's kind of like my, <laughs> me over here like shamelessly plugging myself. But the reality is here guys, is this stuff this stuff is not hard but i'm willing to do it to help you guys to keep your shit boxes on the road so so i guess technically there's like three rebuilds really because most fuel injector rebuild kits that you get at say advance or o'reilly's or autozone does not oh whoops 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 i'm over here like igniting my fire extinguisher i shouldn't do that did i just use it all no oh, no we're good okay so most fuel injectors at autozone don't cut or AutoZone or Riley's Advance, they don't come with these filters. And that's because the filters are kind of an advanced step and I don't think manufacturers want you to know they're in there, frankly. What most fuel injection kits come with are just these O-rings right here. They don't even come with pencil caps. Now, some might, but 90% of them don't. And that's a problem because sometimes your pencil caps, they'll break, they'll crack, they'll just disintegrate which means you're gonna need to be able to replace them. Now that said, also, once again, I'm gonna shamelessly plug myself here. If you are needing pencil caps, let's say, because you've already bought an injector O-ring kit, I do sell pencil caps for the um, Bosch style injector for all the old body Audis. Now, so that leads me to another quick point here. Um, this method of rebuilding will work on pretty much any Audi fuel injector that you have. Doesn't matter if you have a 1.8T, a 2.8, a 4.2 belt drive or chain drive, a 2.7. I mean, quite literally, as long as it's not direct injected, this video is gonna help you get it done. So, what was the third question? We got, when should I, how often, and oh, how do we do it? So, so since we got all the nonsense out of the way, the basic questions, I guess we should, we should probably now get into like the why we're here. So, you have your fuel injector. It's pretty basic, right? Um, we need to start with taking these o-rings off and we need to get this pentel cap off So these pentel caps have a little groove which are right through there Now I'm gonna say ahead of time if your kit has says just comes with o-rings that you got from the local auto parts store or something Do not try to take the pentel cap off. You're gonna break it when you take it off and you're not gonna get it back on It's just it's like a one-way fit type thing if you happen to have all the pencil caps on your injectors, I wouldn't worry about replacing them. Whoops, lost that one. Are designed for elite, you know, a solid 100,000 miles. If you buy the kit, replace them. For all my customers that I do fuel injection rebuilds for, I always just replace them because most of these things are an old shit box. So, let's go. And start with just peeling that one off really, really easy. The bottom one here, eh, sometimes a little tricky. Let's get a tool for that. Be able to just take a little flathead screwdriver here. Try not to stab yourself. And there you go. You can just twist it off. Now you'll see these ones. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but when this was stretched out, it had a lot of dry rots and cracks in it. So I know these injector o rings are toast. And yeah, so let's just get the rest of these off here. But a lot of times, what happens is as the injector as the o-rings get older and older like they want to have a tendency to stick inside the manifold and um that's no good that is no good because you what i have found happens when that happens is that the pencil cap actually falls off and at some point it went through the engine all right so we only got one pencil cap to show you this engine at some point like i said has eight all of them so um there's no real like right, wrong reason or way to get this off. You just you kind of got to get it off. It's going to break no matter what. So we're going to, here we go. Uh, luckily for us, that one didn't break. We are not going to be re reusing it though. So let's just set it off to the side. Now we got to get these guys out. So this filter is located right down inside there. And depending on what kit you get, you may or may not get this cool tool. Now you can just take a screw, shove a screw in there and be all jolly and it'll come right out. But this thing is pretty easy. So you just wanna screw it in like that, run that down over that, and it's just gonna pull it right out of there for you. And there you go. And there's your filter. 
you know, this part's gonna be a little bit of a booger to get off, but it is what it is. Let's do another one. Well, that one came out really nice. So some of you guys might wonder why I make videos like this. At the end of the day, I hope car guys are gonna be here forever and ever and ever. And every one of these videos is my way of like contributing to that. Being able to work on stuff and being able to have that freedom of what a car offers you is unreplaceable. You need to be able to, we as like people, humans, homo sapiens, energy, floating around in this cosmic universe we need the ability to be alone and sometimes our cars are our only way of being alone i guess all of them are done so there's all of our screens all of our injector o-rings and oh i missed the pencil cap how did i do that ah look at that that one didn't break either winter winter chicken dinner um what do we need now so now that we got them all disassembled we got all of our o-rings out it's time to open up the kit. So you gotta get these little injector, um, these filters guys back, ooh. These filter guys back in, they're pretty easy to do though. Here, you just slide that sucker down in there like that, find a flat surface, and push. Well, we need some more push, hold on. Ah. All right, all right. Now that you got your, all your filters back in, go ahead and just start stabbing these O-rings on. Now the bottom ones might not stay all that well, but that's no big deal. Now we got all of our O-rings on. The last thing we got to do is put on our pencil caps. These particular pencil caps, top, you want the notch side, like big flat side and a little bitty side. Now I understand these do not look just like the OEM ones. It is okay. I've used this kit several times and a lot of the aftermarket pencil caps are even designed the same way. So you just take your new one and shove it on there and there you go continue doing that to the rest of them give them a little bitty tug make sure they're not coming off you should hear them click and there you go eight brand new fully rebuilt fuel injectors now granted i say fully rebuilt in the sense of it's got new o-rings new seals new pencil caps and new filter in it this is not rebuilt in the sense of hey, I've had these things sonic cleaned, I've sent them out, got them back, know what my numbers are, know that they're balanced, know that they're all firing at the exact same rate, which against, all mis against a lot of common misbeliefs or misconceptions, you can modify these fuel injectors to optimal levels. So don't let anyone tell you anything other than that. I know for fact because I've done it and I've seen it done and I do it. Which I will say this, most people who know how to do it are not gonna tell you, nor are they gonna show you it's kind of one of those trade secret, proprietary, it's up here and I don't want to share it. Maybe when I'm 90 on my deathbed, I'll show somebody how to do it type of thing. But until that point, it's staying in my own head. So that said, guys, the f if you got this far and you're able to get your fuel injectors fully rebuilt with the link that I provided down below or any number of online kits that you might find, Consider subscribing to the channel and smash that like button if you found value in this. Guys, I put a new video up every single week for not only your entertainment, but to help you keep your shitbox on the road for hopefully indefinitely. So, so with that said, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And my last pro tip before I leave is make sure to lube everything very well. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm outie.